There he stands, in the dimly lit corner of the room, where shadows coil and twist like sinister tendrils. Cloaked in darkness, its form seems to waver and blur, as if pulled straight from the nightmares of those who dare to glimpse its terrifying face. Its presence is palpable, a malevolent force that sends shivers cascading down the spine of anyone who dares to meet its gaze. With eyes that gleam like shards of fractured moonlight, the boogeyman watches intently, its gaze piercing through the veil of darkness with an insatiable hunger. Its silhouette is a grotesque distortion of the human form, elongated limbs contorted into unnatural angles, fingers tipped with razor-sharp claws that glint ominously in the faint light. A suffocating sense of dread hangs heavy in the air, as if the very atmosphere itself recoils in fear of this ancient entity. The air grows thick with the scent of decay, a sickly sweet aroma that claws at the senses and leaves a bitter taste lingering on the tongue. As the darkness deepens and the room becomes swallowed by an inky abyss, the boogeyman remains a silent sentinel, a harbinger of nightmares lurking in the shadows, waiting patiently to ensnare its next unsuspecting victim. Hello, travelers, and welcome to the Mythical Mug Tavern. In this video, we will explore the legend of the Boogeyman from different cultures around the world. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and leave a comment with your favorite mythical creature or a creature you would want to see on the channel. And also a gentle reminder, the names may twist the tongue of the uninitiated. Apologies for any mispronunciation. Let's begin. The Boogeyman is a mythical creature used by adults to instill good behavior in children through fear. This creature lacks a specific appearance, with depictions varying widely across households and cultures, but typically embodying masculine or androgynous monstrous forms that punish disobedience. Found in numerous cultures globally, boogeymen may target specific misdeeds or general misconduct often invoked by authority figures as a warning to children. Sometimes the term is used more broadly to signify terror or as a metaphor for the devil. Descriptions of the boogeymen may vary across cultures, yet certain commonalities persist. Many depictions include features such as claws, talons, or sharp teeth, while the creature's nature ranges from being a spirit to less common variants like demons or witches. Some boogeymen are described with animal-like traits such as horns, hooves, or insect-like appearances. Personality traits of boogeymen can be broadly categorized into three types. Those that punish misbehaving children, those inclined towards violence, and those that protect the innocent. Despite their differences, all operate with the aim of imparting lessons to young children. The majority serve to instill fear with threats of punishment rather than inflicting harm. More aggressive variations are said to abduct or harm children, while a third category exists as protectors, punishing only the guilty regardless of age. Boogeymen or similar beings are common to the folklore of many cultures, with numerous variations and equivalents. A variant known as the Sac Man is prevalent in many Latin American cultures, including Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, Paraguay, Brazil, as well as in Portugal and Spain. Referred to as El Hombre del Costal, El Hombre de la Bolsa, El Hombre del Saco in Spanish, or O Homem do Saco in Portuguese, these names all translate to the Sac Man or the Bag Man. Another Spanish variation is El Robachicos, signifying child stealer. Similar legends of the Sac Man can be found in Eastern Europe, such as the Bulgarian Torbalan, and in other regions like Haiti and certain countries in Asia. This widespread folklore portrays a sinister figure associated with a sack or bag, instilling fear as a cautionary tale to children. El Coco, 
also known as El Cuco or Cucuy, and sometimes referred to as El Bolo, is a legendary monster deeply rooted in the folklore of many Spanish-speaking countries. In Spain, parents traditionally warn their children about El Coco through lullabies or rhymes, cautioning them that if they fail to sleep, the creature will come for them. The term coconuts, coco in Spanish, is said to have derived from the resemblance of the hairy brown face created by the three indentations on a coconut shell, as observed by Portuguese sailors. In Latin America, El Coco exists with variations in folklore, often blending with indigenous beliefs and sometimes influenced by cultural exchanges with the United States. Among Mexican Americans, El Cucuy is depicted as a malevolent creature that lurks under children's beds, threatening to abduct or devour disobedient children who refuse to sleep or obey their parents. However, unlike the shapeless or hairy monster of Spanish folklore, the Spanish-American boogeyman is described as a small humanoid with glowing red eyes, often said to hide in closets or under beds. According to social sciences professor Manuel Medrano, popular legend portrays El Cucuy as a tragic figure, once a victim of violence who now exists in a spectral form. In Brazilian folklore, a counterpart to El Coco known as Cuca takes on a distinct form as a female humanoid alligator or an elderly woman carrying a sack. Parents sing a lullaby to their children, warning them that if they don't sleep, Kuka will come and either make soup or soap out of them, echoing the cautionary tales found in Spain. In the countries of the central and eastern Mediterranean, children are often warned of a creature known as Babao. In Italy, this figure is also referred to as Luomo Nero, meaning black man, typically depicted as a tall figure clad in a heavy black coat with a black hood or hat concealing his face, Luomo Nero is a source of fear for misbehaving children. Parents sometimes employ tactics like knocking loudly under tables, pretending that someone is at the door, and issuing warnings like, here comes Luomo Nero. He must know that there's a child here who doesn't want to drink his soup. Additionally, a common nursery rhyme in Italy speaks of giving a child to the boogeyman who will keep them for a whole year. Unlike some versions of the boogeyman, Luomo Nero is not depicted as a creature that eats or harms children. Instead, he is believed to whisk them away to a mysterious and frightening place. German folklore boasts a plethora of figures that correspond to the boogeyman, each with diverse appearances ranging from gnomes, men, animals, monsters, ghosts, to devils. These entities are often associated with specific locations, such as forests, bodies of water, cliffs, cornfields, or vineyards, adding to their mystique. Known by various names, which are often regionally specific, one such figure is the Butzemann, which can manifest in gnome-like or other demonic and ghostly forms. Another example is the Buman, primarily a proverbial figure, and Der Schwarze Mann, the Black Man, an inhuman creature known to lurk in dark corners under beds or in closets, snatching children away. This figure is integral to the children's game Who is Afraid of the Boogeyman, emphasizing its pervasive presence in German folklore and cultural imagination. If you enjoy the content on our channel, consider subscribing to the Mythical Mug Tavern. Your support means a lot to us. Now let's continue. In Afghanistan, folklore tells of the Mada'i Al, a terrifying nocturnal hag known for her grisly deeds of slaughtering infants in their cribs. Parents invoke her name to instill fear in children, urging obedience out of dread of her malevolent presence. To ward off the Madari Al's sinister intentions, burning wild rue seeds and fumigating the area around the baby is believed to provide protection against her ominous influence. In Albania, the Buba is depicted as a serpentine monster, striking fear into the hearts of children. 
Mothers warn their children to be silent, lest they attract the attention of the booba and face its terrifying consequences. Similarly, the gogol is a fearsome giant whose monstrous presence serves to intimidate children into behaving virtuously. Adding to the roster of malevolent entities, the lubia emerges as a female demon with a horrifying appetite for the flesh of children, particularly girls. Described as having multiple heads, ranging from seven to a hundred, the lubia evokes parallels with the Greek hydra myth. Severing one head only leads to the growth of others in its place. In Brazil and Portugal, a figure resembling the boogeyman is known as bicho papau, which translates to eating beast or saronco, meaning deep-voiced man. Unlike the homem do saco, who poses a threat during the day, bicho papau is a nocturnal menace lurking in the darkness of night. While the homem do saco typically targets children who venture to unauthorized places, Bicho Papal focuses on naughty children, instilling fear by hiding under their beds, in closets, or on roofs. In Inuit religion, the Ijirak is a shape-shifting entity known for kidnapping children, hiding them away, and then abandoning them. Legend has it that if children can persuade the Ijirak to release them, they can utilize Inuksuit, stone landmarks, to navigate their way back home. Another intriguing figure within Inuit mythology is the Kalupiluit, humanoid creatures distinguished by their long fingernails, green skin, and flowing hair, who reside in the sea. Kalupiluit are said to snatch away babies and children who disobey their parents and venture too close to the water's edge. Once captured, the Kalupiluit envelop the children in their parkas and take them to live beneath the sea adopting them into their underwater world. In Egyptian folklore, the Abu Rigal Masluka, which translates to the man with burnt skinned leg, is a cautionary tale often recounted by parents to discipline misbehaving children. According to the story, this monstrous figure suffered burns as a child due to disobedience to his parents. Now, as a vengeful creature, he preys on naughty children, seizing them to cook and devour as punishment for their own disobedience. In Haiti, a sinister figure similar to the boogeyman is known as Metminwi, or the Master of Midnight. This entity is depicted as a thin, towering man who roams the streets late at night, preying on those who dare to venture out. Parents invoke the tale of Metminwi to warn their children against the dangers of wandering outside after dark. In Lithuania, there exists a malevolent spirit known as the Baubas. This entity is described as having long, lean arms, wrinkled fingers, and piercing red eyes. The Baubas is known to harass people by pulling their hair or stifling them, instilling fear and discomfort in those who encounter it. In Malta, the Karkor, also known as Gorgor, is a creature of legend said to haunt the streets at night. Described as a grey, slimy being, the Karkor possesses an uncanny ability to detect guilt. It is believed to enter the homes of guilty individuals, maneuvering through cracks and fissures by extending and contracting its snail-like body. Once inside, the Karkor is said to exhibit a chilling smile that terrifies its victims. In Panama, children are cautioned about the terrifying figure of La Tulivieja, a spirit believed to emerge when they misbehave. Legend has it, that La Tulivieja was once a mortal woman cursed by God for the unforgivable act of drowning her own child. As punishment, she was transformed into a monstrous being with a pockmarked face, long and bristly hair, clawed hands, a cat's body, and hooved feet. Forever tormented by her past actions, La Tulivieja roams the land, cursed to search endlessly for her lost child. In the folklore of the American South, 
Bloody Bones, also known as Rawhead or Tommy Rawhead, is a prominent boogeyman figure. There are variations in the tales, with some considering Rawhead and Bloody Bones as distinct entities, while others view them as different aspects of the same terrifying creature. Rawhead is often depicted as a bare skull capable of biting its victims, while Bloody Bones is portrayed as a dancing headless skeleton. In Choctaw mythology, the Nalusa Falaya, or Long Black Being, is a ghostly entity that looms tall and spindly, possessing the ability to move with the agility of a snake or melt into shadows. This enigmatic creature is known to instill fear in children, warning them against staying out too late. Additionally, it has the power to bewitch hunters, complicating their endeavors. In Wabanaki folklore, the Chipilak, also known as Chibalaku, is a formidable bird spirit employed in tales to caution children into adhering to their parents' directives. With its otherworldly cry and formidable appearance resembling a large diving owl, the Chebalaku strikes fear into those who encounter it, serving as a potent deterrent to disobedience. And there you have it. If you enjoy our content, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you, and safe travels, my dear friends.